Okay, you guys, I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite Hootie and the Blowfish songs. I know this is kind of random, but I love it. I was just teaching it not long ago. All I want to be with you is pretty tricky. There's a couple chords happening in there, so I need you to take your time, slow it down, and I want you to stay with me on this. I am gonna guide you part by part and then demonstrate full parts. So the video might be a little bit long, but I'll have some timestamps below so you can kind of skip ahead, and hopefully this helps you guys. Let's zoom in and do it right. We're gonna start with that rhythm. We're gonna break it down first. Uh, I'll kind of demonstrate it afterwards, but it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Very important. I know I repeat this in a lot of my videos, but keep the swing in, right? Let's break it down in halves, okay? This is what I'm good at. I'm a teacher. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Can we do that together? One, two, ready, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up. We can all do that, right? Okay, now that, think of as half. The other half is up, down, down. I know you already hate me. You're like, wait, you started on an up strum, man. I know. Up, down, 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 up. When you combine them, it sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Yeah, that's right. So I'm I'm moving this to an up. I'll talk about those chords here in a second, but So I'm playing an E major chord. By the way, second, uh, capo's on the second fret. Uh, so back up this video if you haven't got the capo on there yet and play an E. Zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. You should probably know that if you're playing a song at this level. But if you don't, good luck strap in. The next chord is gonna be this little guy. I'm open A, fourth fret D, second fret G, open B, Thumbs muting the low E string. Is that nice? Zero, four, two, zero, zero. Okay. And now this is going to be um, the counterpoint to this E. Down, down, up, down, up, down. So it's kind of the second half of everything. Down, down, up. used to that maybe take that back and forth a little bit muting that E string on this particular chord is going to be a task because you're opening it up on the E so take your time keep it moving work those two chords you've got this I believe in you the intro is essentially that with a little extra okay he's actually gonna go ahead and hit the B here like kind of a B power chord open high E and B strings so that chord is going to be muted low E, 2nd fret A, 4th fret D, 4th fret G, and then open B, a high E. Here's what it sounds like when I'm playing the intro. Did you catch that? So I went from that chord, moved it over, I went from there to... Fourth finger on the G string, fourth fret to the second fret, A string. Give it two strikes. And I like to mute that first one with your right hand. So slowly the intro's. And then he kicks it off, same thing again. I don't want to sing too much because copyright infringement and all that stuff, but he's essentially going to do that E to B sus thing, open A. He's going to do that eight times in his, in his first verse, okay, and in all the verses actually. And then he's going to basically get into this cool section. So anytime you hear, there ain't nothing I can do, you're going to play a new chord. 
I want you to play kind of this F sharp looking thing. Second fret of the E string. Mute that A, I know you already hate me. Fourth fret D string, fourth fret G. Go ahead and open up that B and high E. That's where a lot of the magic is coming from. By the way, that concept is called a pedal tone concept. More on that if you want to know, comment below, shoot me an email, I can get you in a private lesson. I can show you exactly how all that stuff works. Show you the magic, baby. So check it out. He's gonna go, I guess, to kind of get into that. I missed that. Got to tell you about the A sus too. Open A, second fret D, second fret G, open B. Mute that low E. Know that I can do. So anytime you hear nothing I can do, that's your chord. Strum that. And go to an A sus two. Okay. Same rhythm. They're splitting that same rhythm. Just keep that rhythm moving. Keep it strumming. It's okay if you get a little off and it's different every time. In fact, it's kind of a good thing actually. So anyways, in that first verse, if you can get through it, it's a really good sign that you can get through the whole song because there's really not much more to it than that. Okay? And that first verse is a little bit easier than most. Here's what the second and third verses are doing. So it's all the same. E to that B sus over A thing. Okay, we're gonna do that eight times as always. And then we're going to go ahead and get into nothing I can do. It's A sus too. So he's actually going to do this for the second and third verse, and this happens as a, a nice consistent theme after the first verse in general. But he's going to go uh, to that nothing I can do, or that's an F sharp looking thing, to an A sus two. He says, I only want to be with you. Right? And then he can that B sus over A. And then he goes to an A sus two. So he's actually kind of reversing it on you, right? And then he goes to that B sus. So this little power chord thing with the open strings. Okay. And so that right there will be verse two and verse three. Now I'm going to go ahead and play verse two and three. Insert the lyrics however you'd like. It's the same basic structure for the chords. I'm going to go and demonstrate like the good chunk. If this uh, is something that um, you know, you've been struggling with in terms of like, where's everything going? I can't use my ear to hear it. This will be very key for you, but it will be a little bit lengthy because I'm playing essentially a good chunk of this song. Um, verse two and or verse three, whichever one you want to call it. Here it is. Last verse, verse four, is still the same thing. E to this like B over A thing, um, eight times. That that little run, uh, eight times. Okay, and then you're gonna get into nothing I can do. Same stuff. by the way, I just realized I don't know if he's doing these stops in different places. He probably is mixing that up if my memory is right. But listen to it. You can do that stop every time if you're singing and playing at a campfire. <laughs> Sounds great. Or if you don't want to overdo it, you can play through it a little bit. So anyways, as you noticed, 
He did that little A. He did that section twice on the end of his fourth verse. So that's the only thing that's different is he adds that again. Um, and that gives it this extra kind of, um, I don't know, he just doubles down on the hook. And that's it. And the outro is essentially just all the way up. And end on that E, okay? I just sing an L and B with you in between those. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and demonstrate verse 4 so you can see it all together, how it works. It's just a little bit more than what I did when I demonstrated that verse 2, 3 stuff, okay? So just being thorough. If you've already kind of got it, you can skip right ahead or click out of this video. It's totally fine. I'm just here to help. So here's all of that verse 4 in case you're still getting a little bit lost. appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe, and become a Patreon member that helps support me and the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson video.